And hello, we are back, and we will be continuing, apparently, right into another battle. say right now. Just need to get to the actual plot and apparently get a lot of mag on the way. I'm looking at a handy dandy map for what good it does us. Is we do need to head to the bar. So we'll be making our way there. They were able to go before us. I'm just going to see if I can intimidate this one. So I'm not sure of the formula, but usually if you're much tougher than an enemy, if you try threatening, they'll usually run away or just join you. Oh, here he is. Lot of information all at once, right? But basically what you can take from this is we're off to just two different dungeons options. And automatically I'm gonna change the formation. 
Well, she might not be the tankiest unit, she's a person, which already makes her much tankier than most people, uh, most demons I'm gonna usually have, because I can actually adjust her stamina, and she'll have defense stats. I'd have to exactly check out the stats to see which of these is tankier. Pardon the delay in actually moving on. So she's slightly tankier. And she has higher HP, so this makes sense. Also be summoning another demon, I guess. Keeping in mind that I want to keep my alignment neutral, so I have to watch which demons I summon for long periods of time. Unfortunately, law, so. And the goblin is too low level to actually be useful at this point. Oh well. Nothing I can really do. At this point, I just need to work myself out of this area. Also, Heroin is another magic user. She gets Zeo, which is ridiculously good. But she starts with Maha Zeo, which is a little bit annoying. Also, you have now witnessed the glory of stat bullets. They're freaking broken. Honestly, you're best off just stack gunning most of the rest of the game. Once I get access to it, I will pretty much be solely attacking with the stack guns. I'm going to be focusing a lot more into stamina very soon. Probably as the next level into it, like 20 to 25 in uh, stamina. So I believe they're still going to block off the area to go here. So I am kind of ham fisted to go. Yep. Oh, never mind. Go. So we, this is the area where I believe they're keeping all the groups of girls. So I believe we will meet Law here around here. So she does the deeps because she's got gun. Eventually the main character will be doing the same stuff for the most part. But for now enjoy the preview of how ridiculously good guns are in this game. It's 
it wouldn't be an overstatement to say that guns were at their peak, probably in this game. Not to say they're a slouch in any of the other SMTs. I would say they're pretty okay in the earlier ones, but after that, they're just not as great as these. It's more that they were no cost, and that you could attach statuses on them that just put them over the edge with how good they were. And the way you could stat loop was just ridiculous. stairs and more stairs makes me think I'm missing a lot of this room and I would be correct there's a bunch I have not visited which is quite annoying with the encounter rates of this area So I could use the elevator, but what's the fun in that? You'll always, always, always end up losing a bunch of items by doing that. But I guess it's nice for speedruns. Silly demons, you aren't even damaged! But now you are. Ooh. That hit really hard on Dryad. So I guess they are pretty good physical attackers, huh? Well, she did her job, I guess. Honestly, I should have just put her on the back. But I believe you have to have a three front row. I really need to have better demons, but I'm trying not to use alignment demons right now. At least not unless I have something to balance the other side. <sighs> you are getting to see how annoying encounters can be in this game. Just one after another. You need to have a three front row, so kind of ham fisted on what I can really have. And I'm concerned the others are all law. Not much I can do. Probably it's about time to try recruiting some of these more mediocre demons that are around here. Just because they're chaos and they'll let me use some of my law demons.
and pretty much the whole reason I got him is just so I can put him in my party so I can summon better demons. But which one I use will be decided by how good each of them are. Decent, good frontliner, probably what I want to get. Good magic, but I'm not really looking for magic. I'm looking more for a frontliner. So she'll do. Also, pardon if I ever am unsure of a demon. Due to the translation, this is a fairly old translation. A lot of the names they have don't exactly align with how the demons were eventually translated. Ooh, and a guy. So Gaians and later on Messiahs are probably the best things you can recruit in the game and I'll show you later on why they are worth recruiting no matter what they're asking for pretty much. They have a hidden attribute about them. But technically they're not really demons, they're actual people. But yeah, I'll, we'll get into that later on. They do affect your alignment just like demons though. I believe all Gaians are Chaos and all Messiahs are High Law, so they do work like that, but I'm not sure if they ta take Magnetite if they're in your party. It it's like this It was the same demon three times in a row or some crap. I'm being trolled, right? Literally the same encounter like four times or some crap in a row. I, I, I couldn't make this up. Not even, not even if I tried, could I actually make this up? What was that? Oh, God. If I was going to put ever a weakness in this game, it's this situation, where you just get a lot of the same kind of battles back to back to back. They're not particularly interesting or fun, you just kind of have to do them. But it's a good time to look at the Suicide Squad. Stat wise, really unimpressive. I would. So he has zero CP, which I assume is the actual cost for keeping them around. 
because if you compare, they have different CPs. Which I forget how exactly how it aligns exactly. I don't believe it's a direct cost per step. But yeah, they have zero CP, so I guess weaker stats for not having to constantly pay your magnetite to keep them around. Let me check the basement first. And there's lots to the basement. I'm scared. I guess first thing I'm gonna check upstairs, I guess. Looks like this place is fairly empty. Nope, I lied. need to remember to put stats into her speed after all this because she is getting outrun it's really annoying and when you're stack gunning more than anything else you want to outrun and everything uh, died uh, obnoxious, but I do have an actual another chaos because of that this guy and I got a little while ago. So it works out, I guess. Still annoying. The really annoying thing I'm going to say right now that can basically it's being established here is if you get into multiple battles in one space if you happen to retreat you'll still step back which is really obnoxious because even though you end up beating the main probably encounter you're still basically not making progress because you had to take a step back. Oh, the red is just bonus stats. It effectively is your stats, but it's just bonuses from equipment, etc. Alright. Trying to summon this guy. I just hope he doesn't die. That's all I really want him. I just want him to balance my alignment. That's all he has to do. Fornius is one of the few translations they got absolutely correct. And, funnily enough, he has not changed in most of the games he's been in. He kinda has had the same kind of design. Once again, these are the treasure boxes that you don't want to open unless it's full moon. So I will be back later for that. Basically waste time until it actually is full moon. Explore the rest of this floor. Uh, 
obnoxious. Heal. bad if he actually shock locks. And he's trying super hard to shock lock. So yeah, battles can be lost or won based on if the enemies decide to use their ridiculous ability sometimes, which is really obnoxious. Ugh, that was ridiculously obnoxious. And another chest. And the elevator again, which I won't be using. So far, two different areas with those treasure chests. Don't believe I've been here. Does not look like it. There's at least one person who seems to doubt Goto. Can't even see a sprite. Silly, I mean. Oh, there he is. And there he went. Oh. They're dead, which is also a kind of sleep, I guess. Stairs. So it's just a matter of waiting for the full moon, I guess. So I can actually open these treasures. I believe only two of these had treasures? Since I have time to burn, I might as well. 
Alright, this isn't even worth it. I don't have enough spells to, like, be asked to do this. That is a lot, but it might be fine. small fries get really obnoxious if they're in big groups like that. Alright, so looks like the other two are what I'm looking for. Good use of your turn. Goodbye. Ooh. So that might be a good equipment. I believe this has mediocre to bad hit rate, but like, it's got a. Oh! This is obnoxious, and considering they use electricity, I won the bet. Just trying to shock them is not going to work. Oh, they are at least wasting their time. That's a ridiculous amount of damage to be doing at this point. I know he probably has like non-existent red, but Jesus shit, dude. Ugh, encounters are quickly becoming harrowing. speed so she can actually hit people before they hit us. Ugh. I guess it's time to use my revive item. Even though I really don't want to. Only I actually knew which did what. Uh. Hmm. I'll be right back. I will check.
I'm back. And apparently what you think as a dispara, because it says dispara is actually a revive item? Don't ask me, man. Nope. I was just joking. I actually have no idea. Fucking... I thought I bought one, but apparently I was incorrect. Means I'm gonna be running around a lot from fights. Because I don't want to deal with fights with a half-baked party. Actually, I'm just going to leave this area. It's not worth it. I'd rather get to... Not that. I can tell you I don't want this right now. I'm just gonna leave this area and revive everyone. So by the time you see me again, I'll be back in this area with a party that's not in shambles, hopefully. Game's hard, man. Well, we're back, and I lost most of my money reviving things, but. I do finally get a chance to show you what makes Gaians and Messiahns so freaking good. So this is just with the normal goblin. To give you an idea what a goblin can normally fuse with, you get stuff like this, or potentially if you mix it with, uh, I don't know, Canary. You get stuff like this, you know. It's not bad, but it's not good. But, you start mixing. Now, when these in the situation, you get this. But that's not all. Try it again. You get stuff like this. And you know, you're like, oh, that was weird. Was that just a random glitch? Well, actually, no. As you can see, it even told me I had one of those. You just get a random love like range of demons you can get by just fusing. Some of them are going to be crap like this. But some of them will be ridiculously good as you just saw. So this one's pretty good. But I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to hold off to see what else I can get. Goblin's doing me no good. So I might as well fuse them on to make something better. So that would be good if I could actually control it. But yeah. You can make demons of a way higher level than you should be. I actually forget it. I don't believe you can control them. It won't. It still won't let you summon them, even though it's showing you. Eh. If I get the Lamia again, I will try. And it'll probably say I cannot.
no. If anything, I would want to get a Chaos. Which is funny that a Chaos follower is giving me a law option. Yeah. So I do not have the option, but this just gives you an idea of the stuff you can make. It's almost, almost always worth getting one of them. Eh. Honestly... I'm considering it. It's... It's just not very bulky is the issue, and I'd rather have a bulk monster, anything. So, I'll try fusing this with something. have one of those, so it won't let me. I'll probably be cutting this out after this point. Because most of this is going to be me experimenting, and we'll cut right back to when I'm actually finished. So I did decide what I want to do, at least for the moment, which was to create one of these, which will show up. The animation is really slow and there's no way to skip it. But yeah, I'm basically making one just so I don't have to fight these anymore, because they're ridiculously obnoxious for right now. Unless I can make something much better, which at this point, I'll definitely take. That's not bad, but I can't even control it. But for those who are curious, the higher level demon you have as a base when you're making them, though, is a higher chance you have to make something much higher level. And you can make some fairly high level or unique demons you can't get any other way. I believe that's the only way you can get a lot of the dark demons.